Welcome to Puerto Rico English News. The only English speaking broadcast of local Puerto Rican news and entertainment. Please subscribe. Keep us alive. January 16th, San Jose, Puerto Rico. Two men were murdered in a bar on Sunday night in circumstances that are being investigated by the police. The identities of these individuals has not been released. This brings the number of murders from Friday to Monday to 11. Until Saturday, January 15th, the police had reported a total of 24 murders so far this year. Between Sunday night and Monday morning, fatal shootings were also reported in Garabo, San Lorenzo, and Barrio Abrero, Puerto Rico. Saturday, January 15th, Caguas, Puerto Rico, a double murder was recorded on PR 52, in Caguas. The authorities found two bodies shot inside a car. Multiple shell casings were seized at the scene. Authorities are investigating the possible motive for the violent crime. Sunday, January 16, Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. A man was killed in the morning hours of Sunday, while he was on the grounds of a golf course located near the former Ramey Air Force Base, in Aguadilla. According to the police, the 29-year-old was meeting with some friends when someone shot him several times. The identity of the deceased has not been released at this time. Sunday, January 16, Ponce, Puerto Rico, the authorities are investigating a violent death reported in the early hours of this Sunday in the residential Ernesto Ramos Antonini, in Ponce. The man was shot to death at an apartment complex. No further information is available at this time. Saturday, January 15, San Juan, Puerto Rico, wanted for the theft of a car and the kidnapping of a three-year-old boy. Thursday, January 12th in San Juan, Mario Flores Colon was arrested. He was apprehended this Saturday in possession of another stolen vehicle, reported the Bureau of the Puerto Rico Police. The accused, allegedly hit the Toyota Corolla vehicle belonging to Ivanis M. Torres de la Mata, with his bicycle, at the corner of Mayaguez Street, intersection with Barbosa Avenue. The woman was buying food very close to the vehicle. The kidnapping happened when the mother of the child struggled with the man, while yelling at him that her son was inside the vehicle and asking him not to take him away. Later, he abandoned the child, unharmed, at a gas station on Luis Munoz Rivera Avenue, in Hotaray. The car was also recovered. He is being held on a $200,000 bond as well as other charges. Saturday, January 15, Carolina, Puerto Rico Agents assigned to the South Carolina precinct found a completely burned motor vehicle with a charred body inside, on the 874 km highway. 3. Near the municipal landfill in Carolina. The Homicide Division of the Carolina Criminal Investigation Corps is investigating. Monday, January 17, San Juan, Puerto Rico. The authorities are investigating the circumstances of the discovery of the body of a person covered with a sheet and with ties in a vacant lot in San Juan this morning. The body was tied up and covered with a sheet and discovered in the Montecillo neighborhood. No further information is available at this time. January 12th, Caguas, Puerto Rico, couple who refused to fill out travel form barricades themselves in their vehicle in Caguas. Zulma Figueroa Cordova, 53, and her husband, Luis Colón Colón, 44, who were charged for refusing to comply with the requirements of the executive order against COVID-19 on January 2 at Luis Munoz International Airport Marine. As authorities attempted arrest, they are barricaded themselves in their vehicle in Caguas. The events occurred after Judge Wilfredo Vieira Garces of the Carolina Court issued an arrest warrant against the couple, who were charged in absentia for obstructing public authorities. Before the accusation, the magistrate set a bond for both of them of $10,000. According to Prosecutor Elena Martinez, the defendants arrived on the island with their two children from a flight from the state of Florida, and refused to comply with the established procedure. The officers proceeded to escort her to the table where there was an employee who would assist her in completing the aforementioned declaration. However, Mrs. Figueroa, in an arrogant, defiant manner and with clear contempt for the executive order, again refused to provide her personal information, evidence of a negative result of COVID-19 and her identification the prosecutor said in written statements. When authorities attempted to arrest the couple, they locked themselves in their car and began filming. They were live streaming on Facebook when a crowd gathered around the vehicle and more officers were required. 
This has created quite a buzz in the media and on social networks as supporters and critics express their opinions. Some commented that Zulma is an Alta Karen while another stated the governor's mandates are unconstitutional. Monday, January 17, a wild shootout was caught on video in Puerto Rico this holiday weekend. A group of men were gathered on the street in a commercial district around midnight when two men brandishing firearms, rushed towards them. One of the approaching men began shooting and one man in the group returned fire. Thus far no injuries or arrests have been reported. January 12th, Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico, Geoffrey Jomar Perez will have to remain in prison until he faces trial for the kidnapping last year of three people at the El Hippopotamo restaurant in Rio Piedras, which ended in the murder of the teenager Jesus Francisco Perez. A federal magistrate ruled that he did not qualify for bail due to the presumption of flight and that he is a danger to the community. Geoffrey Jomar Perez faces charges of carjacking, kidnapping and firing a firearm during a crime, all with the aggravating circumstance that one person was killed. Wednesday, January 12, Caguas, Puerto Rico, the trial against former boxer, Juan Manuel Juan Lopez Rivera, is postponed so that the parties determine how they will proceed in the face of the refusal of the alleged victim, Andrea Ojeda Cruz, to testify in the case. September. 2021 the boxer's former girlfriend accused him of domestic violence. Ms. Ojeda alleges that in addition to hitting her, Lopez has strangled her and forcefully squeezed her private parts during fits of rage and drinking. Judge Ana Cruz Velez, of the Court of Caguas, outlined for February 15 as the start of the trial against former boxer Juan Manuel Juan Ma Lopez Rivera, so that the parties may determine how they will proceed. Wednesday, January 18, Washington, D.C. A Puerto Rican from New Jersey is among those accused of illegally entering the federal capital on January 6, 2021 during the attack on Congress carried out by mobs of supporters of then-President Donald Trump. Hector Vargas Santos posted his adventure on social media as pictured here. He wrote, guys were inside the chamber along with a selfie inside the Capitol building. He will go on trial in May for illegally entering the U.S. Capitol. In health news, just a month ago, Puerto Rico appeared to be in a better position than other parts of the U.S. It has among the lowest COVID-19 death rates in the U.S., and for months led the country in vaccination rates. But even Puerto Rico wasn't immune to the highly contagious Omicron variant, which has contributed to a spike in infections to 35% and increased hospitalizations. And given that many Puerto Ricans are vaccinated, nearly 78% as of January 6, 
Infections on the island have been generally mild. The governor has mandated even more severe restrictions as a result. Those attending mass events now have to provide not only proof of vaccination, but also a negative COVID-19 test taken within 48 hours of the event. All establishments serving food and drink have to require vaccination or a negative test for entry, and capacity at those places is limited to 50% or 250 people maximum. All passengers on flights to Puerto Rico also have to show a negative test. And businesses must close between midnight and 5 a.m. and are not allowed to sell alcohol during those hours. Major events on the island have consequently been cancelled or changed to a virtual event, including the Miss World pageant. In early December, after a two-year hiatus from the stage, Bad Bunny went home to Puerto Rico to give his most dedicated fan base the concert of their lives. The reggaeton star may have delivered with his show, a today. $10 million spectacle at a massive 60,000-person stadium in San Juan. But it also turned out to be a super-spreader event. All concertgoers were required to show proof of COVID-19 vaccination and to wear masks or else risk a $100 fine and removal from the concert. Though their vaccination status was verified at the door, there wasn't much enforcement of the mask mandate, and many attendees took them off once they got to their seats. As a result, an estimated 2,000 attendees tested positive for the virus afterward, contributing to a 4,600% jump in cases on the island last month. The Puerto Rico Department of Health places the deaths from COVID-19 at approximately 3,600, which is 0.1% of Puerto Rico's 3.2 million population. The World Health Organization estimates a higher number of 5,700 deaths which is 0.18% of the population. In business news, the Puerto Rican cybersecurity company FiberWolf was certified as an approved scanning vendor by the Security Standards Council of the Payment Card Industry, reported its co-founders Ricardo Sanchez and Esli Flores. Less than 100 suppliers in the world have this certification. In addition, the company's proprietary software, DarkLogic AI, appears on the list of programs approved to execute security in entities such as banks, cooperatives, insurers, hospitals and universities. We are very proud to have passed this rigorous certification, which enables us to expand our cybersecurity market on a global level. At the moment, there are less than 100 companies in the world that can provide this type of service, and we can say that FiberWolf is one of them, said Sanchez. It places us in a very privileged position locally and internationally, and opens us up to a global market of opportunities, he assured. FiberWolf LLC specializes in 